Okay. Welcome to It Is What It Is. I'm Sean Marie. I'm Jean. And once again, the phone, every time we talk about old people and dead people, the phone gets haunted. I know. And so it starts happens acting a fool. About okay. every episode. Right? Okay. <laughs> so today we are going to talk about the Bloody Marys. It Bloody is on Mary. the ID channel. It is one season, one episode, four crazy bitches. Named Mary. Named Mary. Yeah. Every one of them are named Mary. And you said when you were watching it, what? When I was watching that and doing my homework, like my jaw was open the whole... Because these Bitches sisters are... are twisted. I mean... They ain't I, even sisters. I like watching the... I like watching the damn... Um, the historical remnants of it. Because that's what it really went into in like the first one. And mm -hmm. I mean, I just don't understand like if... How is killing... Somebody's oh. wife gonna get you with them later because we'll forgiveness. Talk. Oh, dear. we'll Come talk on. about what do you we'll think? Talk you about all of you them, know? but I mean, I don't know if everybody's aware of the whole Bloody Mary little girl tradition. Thing. Yeah, okay, so I guess there, there might be a few different ones around the world. There is actually okay. So I looked up, looked it up because I was like, well, I want to tell everybody like what one, but we have listeners from all around the world, yeah, so. What we do might not be what everybody does. It might be interesting to research. I'm going to do that. Yeah, okay. everybody can come back. Come, come at us. Tell us what your version of Bloody Mary is. So in the U.S., you get your little girlfriends. Yep. Well, okay, I'm not even going to say the U.S. Here in Podunk, Idaho, you get your little <laughs> homies. You go to the trailer bathroom. Yeah. You turn the light off. You do the Bloody Mary three chant. times. Yeah. Yeah, you chant. We chant. And then you're supposed to see her, right? Is no, that the You're is not that supposed the deal? to have anybody else in the bathroom. Oh, you're supposed to be solo? That's how I had to do it. No, I might no. have been the Dude. one that was, like I told you before, I was Let's never a popular one. Come closer to me, Jean. I was never a popular one, so it might have been one of those sick pranks. They made you just do it to be a dick. You know how 13-year-old bitches are. Yeah. Dude, no. Sorry, no offense, but so, yeah, it was rough. They're bitches. Don't Lock in the closet, and then they're giggling outside. Once I was Cunts. in the trunk, and my cousin's... Oh, they okay. went inside that, and left me in the trunk. I can't call names on that because we've done. Me and my cousins have done some no, shit. I thought I was gonna hyperventilate and die. Too young to know how to calm myself down. Oh no, you can't count sheep. Just too little. I'm just saying, dude. Girls on me. But no, <laughs> do you grown would, since then? Yes, girls. Birthday mean. parties, dude. Hell no, that was not my jam. Kate, okay, mind you, I only had a childhood till like 13 years old, and then I rushed into adulthood. Up. Yeah, but. I did go to some sleepovers. I was cool enough to get invited. So I go to this one girl's, right? I won't say her name. She's in a very ma she's an amazing, amazing person. She's an amazing, talented makeup artist nowadays. Mm -hmm. Very talented. Anywho, she lived across the street from Rose Hill Cemetery. Okay, and I don't Oh, even, that's always yeah. fun. Yeah. And I don't even remember that's what like birthday party it one was. Of the first cemeteries around here. Yeah, it's yeah. an amazing cemetery. I used to love to smoke weed and drive through there. Oh, yeah. Call me disrespectful or not, but it's peaceful. But yeah, anywho, um, they pulled out a Ouija board. How this little white at girl the went cemetery? home? No, at her house. Oh, well. But dude, I had seen enough, like enough witchcraft, ghosty shit, that I wasn't about to do some nonsense like that. So I don't even know if I. I think I'm the one who ratted them out too, and like went and told her mama, and like the sleeping part, the sleepover was broke the fuck up. It was she, over. Oh, dude, home. yeah, mm -hmm. she fuck tore that place up. You ain't gonna do did no fucking woo woo hoo do no uh. -uh. I messed around with we me and my friends. It be, that was because the you know parents were pretty much not home and we're in the basement anyways. I don't know. It was really scary. I had a really bad experience, but that's yeah. another episode. Dude, I just don't. I don't fuck around. The most <laughs> I fuck around. It's, it's, it's an opening. It's right. An yeah, it is. They're going to take it. So I was watching this belief. grief show after my cousin died. And um, I was little. I was younger when he died. I wasn't little. I won't say I was little, but I was younger. And in the show, the girl was like, oh, I took a notebook and I wrote. And the next day there was writing back. So I had a notebook. I hid it in a safe spot. I and I'd write to my cousin every, like, I did it for a couple of days. I'd write to him. Uh -huh. Never got anything back. Yeah. So I was like, okay, that's as far as I'm going to go into some hoodoo voodoo shit. Like, that's, that's my limit. Yeah. Trying to reach out to the dead cousin, that was my limit. I ain't trying to fucking... 
No, I believe in it so hardcore that I really know that, like, you're opening shit, you're doing shit, you're bringing shit in. So, like, Bloody Mary, and I don't even know why the hell we're talking about this, because it's not even what the show's about, but it's the moral of the story, I guess. I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But that they do do the whole, like, chant and thing when the show starts. Uh -huh. So they bring it to Bloody Mary. I wonder which Bloody Mary it's that about. chant was yeah. originated from. Yeah. You know? And that's what I mean there's by... there's a lot of crazy Marys out there. Dude, I tell you. Oh I tell you, if you were back then in the olden days, well, you did not... Well, in the not... olden days, what what are they going to do for forensic science? You ain't going to be one to be you called know? Mary, though. Like, hell no, call me Susie. Yeah. I ain't Mary. <laughs> okay. My name's Felicia. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, the first Mary we're going to talk about is Mary Farmer. No. We all know this bitch was born in the U.S. of A. <laughs> the other one's not so much. Anywho. So, she was born in 1880. So, by the way, anything I say cannot be held against me. We are talking ancient times. That is the past. I can speak whatever. Yeah. So, don't fucking judge me. Anywho. Um, she was 27 years old. Half of her face was paralyzed and not in like a crazy way. You really couldn't even tell unless I had to like look back at her mug shots to be like paralyzed. So maybe she just had a stroke at 27. Sometimes that happens. I mean, this is 1880. Fuck. Who knows? But yeah. God, I don't know. Mm. Anyway, she was the only woman. Yeah, but back then you marry at 15, you're going to have a teenager by 27. 15? If you're not married by fucking 12, you're an old bird. You're yeah. useless. 15, so Back nice. in the 1800s. Child bride is not okay. <laughs> yeah, no. But anyway, so she was the only woman from Jefferson County ever executed and the second woman in New York to be electrocuted. The time is 1908. They called her crimes one of the most frenzious, frenzied murders ever. So. Crime of passion. This is what she does. So in 1908, Mary and her husband, James. Dear James, in mm -hmm. New York. In New York, yes. They lived in a rundown place with the cockroaches and the rats and the fucking grossness. Well, times are tough, aren't they? Or... Mm -hmm. Her her man just wants to drink beer instead. Yeah, something like that. Cold water. You they're know. on. They're in the low part of the lifestyle back in them days. Yeah. Well, the the home does have a a home. So I mean, it has a, the home has a home. People. No, here. Got he showered today. Don't be grossed out. Oh, good. Anyway. <laughs> she's wiping her finger on a towel that sounded really weird i figured i should explain this sorry moment pause in the story Jean needed a towel yep no and questions so i provided her with a towel from my brother's laundry hamper that is wet and i'm He's saying not gonna like me at all it's because of a shower we'll go with that story yep. sorry for the brief interruption that was brought to you by zach just kidding <laughs> Everybody always asks you why. You better I, sign up for loyalties right now. Everybody yo. always asks why I don't do ads. So, the ad of the wet towel. <laughs> Back to our story. <laughs> anyway, they had their home had a name, <laughs> and the name <coughs> was Barton Travern <coughs> on Patty Hill near Brownsville. And I really didn't want to say that name because I was like, shit, now that everybody's going to say I'm a racist because I'm like, Brownsville. But white people live <coughs> there, from what I understand. It's a white community. I don't know if that's relevant. But anyway, so Sarah was the neighbor. She was a friend. She was the landlady. So Mary is a psychopath. So she looks over at, at a Sarah's house. So she looks over at Sarah's house, okay? And Sarah's house is bitching. Yeah. It's nice. From the show, it had like a wraparound patio. It was very, very pretty. 
And Mary's kicking cockroaches and she's getting pissed. Because she has to look at Sarah's house. Yeah. So she goes to... She goes to... What is it called? She goes to a lawyer in Watertown. There we go. On Halloween of 1907. She goes to Watertown to an attorney, Francis. And she says, I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. I need to transfer the deed of my home into another name. No photo ID back then? No. Yeah. Fuck no. I don't even know it. <coughs> you know what I mean? They're just like, oh, woman, let us help you. Mm-hmm. So they, she, they do, she does. She signs, she gets everything. She signs it all to Sarah. They changed the Mary. whole without any kind of verification. Without the deed. I mean, without no one knowing. Sarah Note. doesn't know. Wow. No one knows. Only Mary knows because Mary is pretending to be Sarah. Mm -hmm. So now she has the deed. And her and Sarah are friends. So she's in the kitchen and she's like, oh, Sarah, come talk to me. And so Sarah does. She's a nice gal, like we stated. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gets an axe to the back of the fucking dome. <coughs> And so Mary cleans up the nonsense, puts Sarah in a trunk. Okay. An axe to the head. An axe to the head. Axe to the head. Oh. So when they get the money or whatever, she goes and she tells husband James, who's a mill worker. He's not the brightest fucking crayon in the box. Mm -hmm. He's normal dude back then. You know what I mean? He's naive to this whole entire thing. Yeah. Which is shocking. Uh -huh. So he goes and he's like, hey, check it out. I, uh, Sarah sold me the house for 1200 And, oh no, a mill worker, sorry. A mill worker came that owned Sarah's house. Mm -hmm. He says, I can sell you this house. This is what she's telling James. Uh -huh. And so Sarah says, I will buy this house from you, sir. He says, $1,200, ma'am. Oh, wow. So she does. She tells James that Sarah is going to be paying rent now for two fifty a week. $2.50 a week. And that was expansive. Yeah, back then. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so she tells James, she's like, well, you know my uncle up in Buffalo? Mm-hmm. He done did it. He gave me the money. We pay him back with love and uh, over time. Yeah. Everything's fine, dandy. And so James was like, nice. Seems legit. This is awesome. Okay. So on April 23rd, 1908, Mary goes to Sarah's husband. They call him Patsy. His name's really Patrick. And says, hey, Sarah fucking hates you. She left you. She never wants to see your stinking face ever again. You smell like vomit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So she says, hey, check it out. She hates you. She don't want you. Go away. And she gave me the house. So get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. And he gets mad. Well, yeah. He's you know? Like he's, he's like questioning some shit. You know? He's like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? No. Like, my lovely wife, Sarah, did not say these hateful, disgusting things about me. It must have been hard back then to try and round up people for a search. And Dude, yeah. It took him a minute. People. It took him a minute. <coughs> they were married for 25 years. Yeah. So he's like... Bullshit. You know a person after that Yeah, long. he's like, why? No, she did not. Yeah. Mary? No, she didn't. Yeah. So he goes to the popo. Well, he goes to a hotel <laughs> nearby. And on the 27th, he shows back up with the popo. Yeah. He's like, this is my house. This bitch is in my house. She won't give me my house. My wife is done missing. So the cop's like, hey, Mary... We're going to come check out this house. Let us in. Move aside, ma'am. So she does. Yeah. They're doing walks through the house. They come upon an old trunk. And he's the cop is like, hey, what's in the trunk? And Mary's like, I don't fucking know. It ain't my trunk. And she left the trunk in the In the house? back of the house. In the back of the house. She was, I mean, she didn't do nothing about it. You she can't just left hire in the back of the house. somebody for a dollar to 
No, she's still poor. Old. This is fake love. This is fake rich. You know what I mean? Wow. She's still poor as shit. Find a dollar in the couch. You huh? have a big ass house, bitch. You couldn't even fill it up that you got to keep the dead body in the room just to put something in the corner. <laughs> so, I mean, you know what I mean? She's no. on hard times. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Both no of them. Way. Both of the farmers were like, we don't know. What's going on? Where that came from, mm -hmm. sir. Because it's locked. Did the husband know it was in the box? The husband's like, that's my fucking, that's mine. Why is it locked? You know, he's like, that's ours. Mm -hmm. And so he tells the cop, he's like, break the lock. So the cop does with his old time gun in the show. And inside is a decaying Sarah inside the trunk. How did they not smell that before? I don't. Dude, I thought the same thing because I was like, I don't know if it's like if, but then I was like, well, I don't know how good were trunks made. I don't, well, maybe not a trunk person, you know. And back then, I'm assuming it's pretty fucking decent, but a decaying body, especially. Well, yeah, because then it like bloats and then it like leaks and mm -hmm. shit. So I'm like, mm -hmm. what was around the floor of said trunk? Because yeah. like, did the trunk hold all the fluids? If so, sign me up for a trunk, yeah, because that's it, some killer shit. Ha <laughs> ha. But, well, I guess they don't make things like they did back then. <laughs> Maybe, yo. Yeah, no. Airtight. You know? So it's kind of awkward, you know, for Miss Mary standing there. And well, standing and there. she's five months. And she's five months pregnant. Mary is. Mm -hmm. She's with child. She's with child. So, time out. Uh huh. Like <laughs> a legit one or like. No. Oh, okay. What's uh, up? So. She killed Sarah while she was pregnant? Yeah. Okay. So it might have well, been freshly. It might have been hormones. Right. She's fresh. I don't know. <laughs> this is Mary's only. I'm sorry. Wow. I don't even know, to be honest. I don't even know. I don't know. The property was given, though, to James Farmer... In Jan January 7th of 1908 because they had the deed. Yeah. And no matter what it is, that's a deed. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he got the house. James? Yeah. That son of a bitch. Yeah. He didn't do nothing for the house. He didn't work for it? No. Oh my goodness. He didn't. Um, She later, first she said, well, maybe James did it. And so James did go to jail for some time. He did get, he did get a bad rap for a minute. So, but, um, so. What was the break in the case? The husband. Yeah. Yeah. Just the way she did it. She didn't have a good plan. She really thought the husband was just going to go away and be like, oh, okay, sounds legit. She moved. Okay. But she said she only hit Sarah in the head with an axe once. Um, she is the first woman to plead like crazy and say it was self. Well, first she said that she went crazy and she didn't know what was happening. Then she said it was self-defense. And then they were like, well, how the fuck is it self-defense when there's a You're crazy when there's an axe to the back of the dome? <laughs> so. Um, after three hours of deliberating, all 12 male jurors, the jury of her peers, mm -hmm. all 12 men, 12 of them, said guilty as fuck. They took three hours to smoke some cigars. Talk about it. I don't even know if they talked about it. They probably just drank a little bit, discussed stock market. I don't know. That's New York back in the olden times. I'm just a, I'm just guessing it's a bunch of... Can you of, imagine? Usually for like a murder verdict, isn't it like days usually? I don't know. Weeks? No. That the jury's deliberating? No. Or? They can fucking take 10 minutes. They can walk out in the hallway and be like, we all know, right? Okay, break. Go back in there. So on March 29th of 1909, Mary was electrocuted at Auburn State Penitentiary... And according to her priest, she died a good Catholic oh. with a very huge cross around her neck. 
Absolved him. And of before her death, she cleared James's name and said that he was obviously not what he was. But um, he went to trial in October of 1908. He was convicted, but then on October 3rd, he was relert. His court, his conviction was reversed, reversed by the Court of Appeals. After he spent 53 weeks on death row, his cell was only a few feet away from the death chambers that Mary had died in. Oh wow! He was bought. He was brought back to Jefferson County and tried for forgery on the deed, and he was acquitted of that in 1910. He spent the rest of his days quietly working in a mill in Brownville. Brownville. So, so did that, you keep the house? Yeah. Or did they I, give it back? I don't know. <coughs> they never say. But that was <coughs> the second woman on death row in New York. Mary Farmer. Yeah, electrocuted. Yep. Okay, so. Moment of pause. So that Bloody Mary killed for materialistic objects. Uh -huh. House. And she's fucking psychotic, yeah. yeah. So, now we're going to jump to... Mary Frances, who was born on July 29th of 1899. Mary lived in Applegate in a two-bedroom house. All the kids lived in the basement. They lived with a different family. Another family. Mm -hmm. They lived in the... They had to share a home. So that tells you right there, you got some... You got... They didn't really say how many kids... They only talk about one of the children. But you got a bunch of kids. Two households of kids. Two households of kids. Yeah. Two parents each room. Kids in the basement. That's how the house <laughs> goes down. <clears throat> um, she was found guilty for poisoning Ada Applegate. In Baldwin, New York, on September 27th of 1935. Um, Mary says Mr. Applegate, her and Mr. Applegate start having an affair. Oh. Of course, that's what that leads to normally. So they start doing the deed behind everybody's back and everything else. And then all of a sudden, Mr. Applegate's like, Something's mm. fishy. Well, no, he's not. Because he's like, you know, you're fun. You really are. Don't take this personal. But you're like a little old now. It's been a couple weeks. It's been mm -hmm. a while. Not a couple weeks. It's been like a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So, like, I've seen every trick. You've got a trickery. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know what your 15-year-old daughter can do. And so Mary's like, well, goddamn, go do it. Like, why the fuck not? Duh. So he does. Wow. <clears throat> so he starts sleeping with the 15-year-old daughter. And it gets... With the mother's permission. Yeah. Well, then it turns into <sighs> jealousy. Because he's now like, well, I'm done with you all together. And like openly fucking around with this kid. Like, he's not but trying to hide it. What year was this? 1935. Well, it's still against the law. <clears throat> no, it's not. Dude, if you didn't have a baby back then by, like, fucking five, to you FF were... It, you're, well, your own daughter, and then a 15 Well, it's not old. his. It's not his daughter. Oh, the lady that lived. Yeah. It's not his daughter. But she's still a child. It's the mistress's daughter. Well, yeah, I mean, it's still wrong. I'm not justifying it, guys. I'm not justifying it, but that's just... I guess how it was back in these times. Like, the show was just was like, accepted. it was like, yeah, it was like, that's just what it was. Wow. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, um. And then her mom's okay with it openly. Well, yeah, because she wants the 15-year-old to marry him so that she has control. Security. Yeah, she, like, gets... All of her shit. She gets the cake and she gets to eat it too. Yeah. So that's her plan. So. Um, she when she before she lived there, she lived in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. 
And in New Jersey, this bitch went crazy. Oh, pushed to the limit? I guess. So she's not convicted of these crimes. She is suspected of these crimes. Of poisoning her mother-in-law. Oh. In 1920. Her father-in-law in 1921. Her little brother in 1923. Um, her and her husband were tried for her brother's death, but acquitted for a lack of witnesses. Wow. Because everybody died. <laughs> yeah. The mother-in-law's murder trial was held in 1923, but she was also acquitted due to lack of evidence, <laughs> witnesses. And the toxicologist Alexander only found traces of amounts of arsenic that is normally in the human body. So. So they didn't know how exactly she was poisoned. No. Because also back then they had... And that's all less. they really say about her story. Mm -hmm. Like, her story is the shortest story in the whole thing, if you didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Hers is very short, quick. That's it. Guys, she was sent She was sent to prison. So she killed three people in yeah. New Jersey. One of them her brother. Uh-huh. Okay. And then she did the wife of Mr. Applegate, Ida. Uh -huh. in 1935 and that's all it says is that's when she did it and that she died that's it so was she convicted of it only of the Ida one of the Ida. yeah okay. that's the only one she was convicted of and then she just died in prison or she uh, was electrocuted I can't remember I can't remember either her oh, story God. was so short yeah like you guys will really have to watch it hers was they got over with her story before I could finish browning my hamburger meat. Yeah. So, I mean, time frame, fucking ten minutes. Yeah. So, two children, ten minutes. I kind of skip. I miss some shit. <laughs> but, I don't know. It re All they say is that she got jealous. The wife got sick. She was the one poisoning the wife. Yeah. So, that way it was taking... A long time and not yeah. looking. Yeah. And she's the one who cared for the wife. Mm -hmm. And all that fun shit. Um, the wife. They did say on the show. I don't know if this is true. Or if this is just TV. I yeah. don't know. But they did say the wife did learn of the affairs. Uh, mm -hmm. But then they were just like. Oh yeah she was mad obviously. And said no more. Kind of broke. Yeah. Hmm. So that's the story of Mary Frances. One of the Bloody Marys? Second Bloody Mary. <laughs> that's still four people. Okay, <clears throat> so this Mary, she may have been a badass bitch. I'm not even trying to play. If this could have been proven to be her, kind of cool. Ain't gonna lie. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So, she was born. This is such an old name. Ma Mary Eleanor. Uh-huh. Eleanor. Wheeler. In, in 1866. She took, guys, took the last name of John Charles Piercy, a carpenter man she had been living with. Oh. But he left her because Mary's a cheating ass hoe. Yeah. She's very, very pretty. So she just took his last name to the cast. Because she could. Yeah. And so she did. This is back in them days where you were just like, it's mine. I need to do this. Thank you. Yep. That is mine. And all you really got to do is correct people when they're like, oh, Mary Wheeler. And you're like, no, Francis, no, honey. No, no, no. I mean, Piercy. 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 So, she took the name from Charles Purse. Like I said, Piercy, he was a carpenter man. Man, like I said, he left her because she's a cheater McCheaterson. So, she moves on to being a side hoe. She's like, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm on bone to bone. Yeah. I ain't trying to make no commitments to no man. Yeah. 
entail. To just gonna have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So she meets Frank Hogg. This is we're talking about London people. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I we have listeners over there too, and I I'm just so sorry. Let me just... It's two G's, huh? Before, yeah, yeah. Before this shit starts um, and we go to London and all that fun shit, let me just apologize. I am so horrible. Like, I can't even pronounce places in America right. So pray for me. Bless me. And we'll It'll fucking... Okay. You'll know. Where, you guys will know. You know. <laughs> you'll fucking know. Just not everybody else will. Don't be, be offended. She's yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't feel special. I fuck up on everybody. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, she meets Frank, who is a furniture remover? Like yeah. A, so, is that like, he's a mover? Yeah. Oh. Do you guys really... Oh, guys, I'm I'm slow sometimes. I have moments in my days. When I'm doing... Because I did the research on her. I literally took the last two names and was like... I can't handle this fucking show anymore. Yeah. I'm just going to fucking do the research on my own. Yeah. Well, I watched this one and I stopped at the last one, which I'm, God, I'm so glad I did. Because I watched it today for the last like 30 minutes of my oh, work day. Oh, God, huh? Wow. Yeah. Any, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why I kind of was like, I'm glad that the last Mary was short because these two, I don't even know if we're going to have enough time. So, we'll yeah, time. well, sorry, I'll get into it it's because this chick, yeah, we'll get into it. Sorry. <laughs> For, okay. Yeah. So, mm, she is Frank's lover. He is a furniture mover. Okay. In he, London. In London. He is also dicking down Penelope Styles. Oh. Who becomes with child. Oh. So, Mary is like, you better fucking marry her because you're not going to tarnish your name because I'm still dicking you down. Yeah. So, you're like, and it's. Back then, your name it's was your name. Deal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You wanted to be very nice with your name. So, he marries her. They have a sweet little baby. A little girl with the name of Penelope Styles as well, after her mother. Mm. So, on October 24th, 1890, Penelope with her baby, Penelope, who they called, like, Tingy. Uh-huh. Cute name. So sad what happens to her because she has a cute name. So, um, they went over to Mary's at Mary's in, at her invitation. Isn't that so proper? That's what the uh, that's what the little thing said. She was invited to tea. Yeah, at her invitation. Uh-huh. Precious. So cute. That's like, you know, someone texting you and you know that you're about to about to throw down with this bitch when you meet her at the, you know. Well, no, they were just having tea. They're such nice people. So, oh, and they lived in Kentinch Town, London. I thought it said Kanish, but I was like, that's just fucked up. So I can't, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so the neighbors heard violent screams and acts of violence around 4 p.m. Hmm. That night, a body was found um, in a heap of rubbish, pile of trash Americans, Jeez. in garbage. She was found in the dump. That's awful. In Hampstead. So she okay. walked miles, correct, yeah. to get there? Her skull was cra crushed and her head was nearly severed from her body. A black stroller, but they used a very proper word for a stroller for the old school buggies. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to chop it up to stroller. Okay. <laughs> but imagine Charlotte's Web buggy where she keeps Wilbur. Yeah. That's what kind of buggy. Yeah. The big. Yeah, the big one with the wheel, the big ass wheel. Well, she the... had a body in it, so my God. So she had to chop her up. Yeah, no, she didn't chop her up, Jesus. She just yeah, she just folded, folded a bitch, and... Jesus. Oh my Chopped her up. To... Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. So, and they found it a mile away, and the cu the cushions were covered in blood. Um, an eighteen month old body was also found. Who was found in Flemish? 
I don't know. Finish? Finchley. Finchley. Oh, huh? Finchley. Apparently smothered. Mary was seen pushing the stroller into North London after dark. The cops searched her house and found blood spatter on the walls and the ceilings and a skirt. Damn. And an apron. She forgot to clean? Uh-huh. And throw her clothes away? Uh-huh. Oh. And Different mattered she... hair and blood on the fire poker and a carving knife. Uh-huh. So when she was questioned, she goes on with the questioning for a little bit. And when she, they were like, so what the fuck were you doing, Mary? She says, killing mice, killing mice, killing mice. And she just starts canting, chanting that she was killing mice. So she was charged with the murder and she was hung on December 3rd of 1890. <clears throat> so what makes this Mary so fucking badass? Mm-hmm. It's. I was wondering, quietly, why what, the hell what? is she cool? Yeah. So, <laughs> they tested back in, I think it's 09, <clears throat> they tested the um, some DNA that they believed to be Jack the Ripper. Oh. And it came back to a female DNA. Oh. And she is on the list for one of the suspects to be Jill the fucking Ripper. Really? Wow. Girls can be named Jack. Dude, they know they think they think now nowadays. Obviously, we're not talking about back then because back then only a man would have done those things. Absolutely. But now, when they look back on those cases, I guess they're like midwives would walk around covered in blood, in aprons and all that shit, and no one would ever bat an eye. It was common. It was common. So no one questioned the fact that Mary was walking around. At night, looking like a fucking psycho. Because who knows what she could have been doing. You know, they're not going to question it, but now they're questioning it. Mm -hmm. How amazing would that be? I'm just saying, everybody's like, the first woman president. Wah, wah, wah. Jack the Ripper. Shaw Marie's now. over here, and I'm like, Jill the fucking Ripper. But then why did she kill prostitutes? Street workers. Maybe, maybe it was envy, you know? Or power. Because she is not pretty. I'm going to post all the Marys, and you're going to see that the Mary that they were like, bitch be banging Mary Frances, who the executioner was like, she is the most prettiest woman I have ever put to death. Like, God bless her. She was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But... All the other Marys, <laughs> not so pretty. Then why didn't she, you know, wash her skirt? Bitch is busy. Like, what do you mean? They didn't expect it all. To, they didn't I don't, go to her like the next day. I they had to find the bodies. So yeah. like, you go come home from your walk and clean up your shit. Maybe she like sat outside, smoked a cigarette, and it was like having a moment of like, damn. Now I got my man back. Maybe she went and got boned. Maybe she went and told him that he was, she's like, check it out, dude, you're, you're single. Available. And you don't even have a baby. No mo. You know. I mean, sorry. Yeah. It's a good thing she didn't kill him. Gosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She just is badass. I really... I think that it would be amazing if Jack the Ripper turned out to be a chick. Like, dude, that everybody... Would be, that would be pretty mind-blowing. It's kind of like honestly. the Golden State Killer because yeah. everybody was like, oh, when they catch him, he's going to be nasty looking like Ramirez. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. And you go to Joe D'Angelo's house and you're like, no, you didn't. Come on, Grandpa. Come on. Let's go. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they expected this different person. Everybody, when you thought of the Golden State Killer before you knew his face. Yeah. 
you don't think he looks like what he looks like. Then you see his face and it's weird. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, that's disappointing. Have you watched that thing on Netflix about him yet? I watch everything. Okay. He is literally my number two, guys. <laughs> he used to be my number one until I fell in love with Ed Kemper. Yeah. Knocked him right down. Yeah. yeah. Sad day. So now we are going to go to the end. Okay, so this is Mary Bell. And we will probably truly do a whole episode on her. So I really kind of want to keep hers kind of brief. You can always look her up. But just for the fact that she did what she did and everything else, I think it'd be kind of cool maybe later on to do a bigger in-depth mm -hmm. on her. Yeah. Because she had a very, very interesting life. Yeah. So her mother was a 17-year-old street worker. Um, when she was born, the mom is quoted as saying, get that thing away from me. At four years old, her mom made her start doing sex work and doing acts with her. So why? Taking her to work. I'm going to interrupt you right now. Why the hell did the hospital give it back to the mom then? They don't give a fuck. I guess that was before this safe This is 1960. Haven yeah, this is fucking back in... Way back yonder, because okay, I mean, she her, was the known prostitute. Quit the known prostitutes. It's very frowned upon. It's called. Oh. They're called street workers. Sorry, I didn't know it was a bad thing. Yeah, it's frowned upon, guys. It's frowned upon. Don't say it. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's just what they did. I guess that's what her mom's fucking game was. So she would give little Mary sleeping pills as treats. Uh huh. Mary fell from a window at the age of. 10 and 11. She fell or she fell? She fell. We did air quotes. Yeah. We did air quotes. Fell. So she was convicted of manslaughter on the killings of Martin Brown, who was four years old, mm. and Brian Owen, who was three years old. She was convicted in December of 1968, and she was released from prison in 1980. Her identity is protected by a court order, but she fucking flaunts who she is everywhere she goddamn goes. So go ahead and Google her name. Because then really? it comes up with, yeah, because then it comes up with what she goes by now. Mm -hmm. Real secret. Google. How, how old was she when she was convicted? In such 11. A prison? 11. 11 years 11. old. 11. See, that's why so they she probably should have taken that. She had child. no friends. She had no friends except for this little girl that she used to kick it with. And this little girl had some problems of her own. She wasn't mentally the age that they both were. She was a little bit younger. Mm -hmm. And Mary was a violent bitch. Mm -hmm. She, ooh. She was known for choking out classmates. Like everybody in school was like, don't piss off Mary because she going to come at you. Like everybody knew. See, and do you think that teachers that's a just separate from them? The way that she was raised. Yeah. With, with, um, oh, dude, yeah, fuck yeah. Imagine oh. that life, dude. You're already fucking doing street work at fucking four years old. You know what I mean? God damn. And your favorite treat is a sleeping pill. Yeah, you got some shit going on. Yeah. You're probably a violent little fucker, and she was, hella violent, hella. And so they coerce these little boys, not at the same time they are separated. So on May separated 25th, times. yeah, on May 25th, 1968, the day before Mary's 11th birthday, she strangled four-year-old Martin Brown. And the thing is, dude, is like they knew the family, right? Her and this little sidekick of hers, I can't remember. Do you know what the sidekick's name is? It's like, I don't know. It's like, it starts with an M. I'll think about it for yeah. a second. Starts with an M something. Yeah, something like that. Her little friend, she was never convicted because they were like, this girl's just too not there. Mentally, like, educationally, she was just mentally. Kind of following along yeah, she was just going along with Mary. Yeah. So they go to the Brown home and they knock on the door and his mother answers and they say that they want to see Martin. And so the mom's kind of like, okay, this is weird because they know that. Martin's dead. Hmm. And so she goes to do the, oh, sweetie, remember Martin's past or whatever she said. Little bitch ass Mary goes, we know. I want to see him in his coffin. 
So red flags. Just ting, 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 ting. Mom say no? I'm assuming. Fucking weirdo. She's weird. I just don't know. So they found in the school a notebook that Mary had been jotting down, down in. And it says, in one of the pages, it says, We did murder Martin Brown. Fuck off, you bastards. Wow. Another page says, I, I murder him. so that I may come back. Whatever that means. And so when the cops told her that they she was going to be charged with these two crimes, she says, that's all right with me. And I picture that's the moment where someone wanted to slap her. Because I write it, and I'm like, ooh, that was sassy. Yeah. You know? And even to this very day, I feel that sass. Yeah. Being like, mm, okay. <laughs> Come here. Sure. Yeah. Murder. <laughs> Whoops. And she, re dude, she really did. She was like, mm, who gives a fuck? Murder. I fucking... And, like, she used to strangle pigeons and shit. Like, we're gonna... Dude, I really want to do a full one on her, because as a fucking 10 and 11-year-old... She's worse than, like, she put Ted Bundy, she'd make him piss his pants. Well, maybe she knew and wanted to be, come back when, with the Bloody Mary chant. Maybe this is her. But she's alive right now. No. The fuck? No, she's not fucking alive. You said she was released from prison in 80. Oh, yeah, she, I uh, no, I don't think she's died yet. That's right. Now she's a grandma. She's like 86 something years old. Sorry, yeah, sorry. I was a Mary back. She's been killing people but, since she was 11. Yeah, no, and I guess she really, these are like her only two murders or whatever. But then they hide her identity or whatever, and like 20 years later, down the thing or whatever, some paper, article, news, whatever, I'm really not trying to give everybody information, goes back and they find out who she really is. They go to her and they're like, hey. Can we interview you? Can we interview you? Tell us your story. And she's like, well, yeah, fucking pay me. Pay me and I'll tell you anything. You know. So, bam. That might be a good idea I want to talk to you about later. Right. Okay. What? Talking to her? Jesus, no, hell no, not her. Oh, okay. <laughs> huh. Jesus. Having you do it. Yeah. Anyway. So they, uh, on Brian's poor sweet little body, he's a three-year-old, they, there was an M on his belly, like carved into his belly, but it looked like, like an autograph, or like an, yeah, like it looked like it was an N, but then the mortician came back and said that one of them was done before and then she came back to complete it into an M. So she was interrupted when she was signing her work. Something happened. So she, she had to go back. Yeah, I don't know. She should have been let out. She was a baby. <laughs> you done did your life sentences by the time you're 30. I know, but that's disturbed, you know? She's crazy. Wow. But that's really all I'm going to give you guys is it's Martin Brown, four years old, and Brian Howe, who's three. Ho, three Howe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who's three? And so that she did this angels, very young. Yes, his babies. babies. His precious, precious little babies. And I tell you, that is the biggest fear of my whole life. Because the mothers who get the strength to talk about this shit uh -huh. and everything else just astounds me because I really think that I would curl up into a little ball and just go to a very dark place. Yeah. If anything ever happened to my babies, anything, they're fucking sick right now. You guys should see my kitchen counter. I'm not even kidding you. Like what you need, what you want. I got you. You need some Pepto cut for your belly. I got you. Chewables, liquids. Like I got it all. Like I, I hate it when it hits the whole house. Yeah. Yep. So, like, I can't even imagine my baby. And that's what I'm saying is, like, I want to, I did not know that Mary Bell was going to be in the Bloody Marys. I didn't know who she was mm -hmm. until now. So now, wow. Yeah. I must know more. Yeah. I have to know more. So, really, I think Mary is going to get her own little badass episode. Episode. Yeah. Just chilling by herself. Maybe we'll do some killer kids or whatever. 
has to be it. So, yeah, that is the four people of the, the bloody, bloody yeah, Marys. the four Bloody Marys. Oh. And Jean asked me before we started this how I came upon this show. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll tell you guys in the rant, like, not it's not even a rant. I'll tell you guys in, like, I'll just tell you guys real quick. So, <laughs> I get super bored and I have OCD really bad. So when I find shows, I have to watch them consistently. Like mm -hmm. the days that they air, I watch them the days after. It's a routine. It's a thing I have. And then when I'm caught up on all of those shows, and that's including the ID channel, the Oxygen channel, the Kardashians, what, what, <laughs> you know, and I'm caught up on all of that shit, the this is us, the whole thing, the whole spiel. I go through this whole thing. <clears throat> then I go back and I watch everything in alphabetical order again. In like all the episodes. Oh. So I was doing that and I couldn't remember where I was. And when I saw it, I didn't see that it said Mary's. Uh huh. I thought it said Bloody Mary. So I was like, what? <laughs> Have I seen this? Do I know this? And when I checked the air dates, <sighs> It was when I was broke and didn't have cable. Oh. So I hadn't seen it. Yeah. And so I was like, fuck the A's. We're doing B doing right Doing B right now. Yeah. You can go back to A. Yeah. Remember. And I will. Because it's going to drive me nuts that I passed it. So I will. Are you this? Or is it because you and Cara grew up around each other? Oh, why? Because Cara is OCD? each other. No, but it's, it's love. I, I'm all cute. So I'll, I'll tag you in the, in the photos. Where it's how to drive an OCD person nuts on Facebook. Oh my god, dude. The yeah. littlest dude. I say, I, I, so okay. I'll tag you in so, the yeah. shows. With you. <laughs> Do. <laughs> but yeah, so anyhow, guys, that is the Bloody Marys. And I just have to say, you guys, I fucking love doing this. Yeah. And the fact that people all over the world know our names is astounding and blows our fucking mind. Yeah. It, yeah. That's. <laughs> I haven't grasped it yet. I've been getting like the year wrap on all of like the apps and the stage, like everything that we're on or whatever. And we're going to be on Pandora soon. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank so you. yeah, we're going to be on Pandora hopefully very soon, but yeah, I'm getting the wrap ups of everything and to know that I actually have as many followers on things that I have and that people watch my YouTube and people that I work with, their spouses watch it. And like, they're like, oh, I hear your fucking voice all day long. I can't stand it. It makes me so happy that it's truly mind blowing. Yeah. I have found my calling. You fuckers can come with me. Thank you guys. It's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So yeah, check us out at it is what it is pod 19 on Instagram. It is what it is 208 on Twitter. Cause that's where we're from. Join our Facebook page or the group. There's both. I prefer you to join the page because I'm really horrible at posting on the group. <laughs> I will admit it. And it is what it is, a true crime podcast. And follow us on YouTube at it is what it is, a true crime podcast. And you can always email us with suggestions and all that stuff. Destiny, don't worry. I have your suggestion. I will get on it. Destiny, my lovely cousin, will be our next cust our next customer. <laughs> our next fan request will come from her. So we'll do that one eventually. <clears throat> we'll come to it. So yeah, guys, follow us. We love you and Thank you. Yeah. Peace the fuck out. <laughs>